I'm doing another unboxing video today. This is a Teyuta Matoshi dress called Floral Dreams. Um, you might have seen I did a video a few weeks ago about the Ally Express sort of knockoff version, and then I was going to do this one of the real dress to see if the um, knockoff measured up. Based on the pictures, I'm going to say no. Um, but I've been waiting for like, I got this package like a week ago and I've been waiting to do this video, so I'm super excited. Um, another thing about this dress is that um, I actually had a custom adjustment made to it because the actual Floral Dreams dress is like, goes all the way to the floor and then some. And I really wanted to be able to wear this dress around, so I asked for a custom length. So I asked that it be made like a T-length skirt, and so it's supposed to be about 90 centimeters long. I haven't seen it yet. I'm super excited to open up and try it on and see what it looks like. Um, so I'm actually, I'm going to do a few more of these unboxing videos. I've got like maybe four more Ally Express dresses on the way. And I think maybe a couple more Teyuta Matoshi dresses on the way as well that I want to do a comparison with. But the holidays and postage and everything right now, it's just like it's lost in postal purgatory right now. I don't know how long that's going to take, but anyway, the few more of those are on the way, but today we're just going to unbox my Floral Dreams dress. Yay! So, let's get to it. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. So you know, I think I'm actually gonna go get the imposter dress and just like hold them up side by side so you can see the difference. But before I do, oh my gosh, look at all of that. It's on the back. Wow, that is a lot of detail work. Okay, let's compare with the other. So just a few quick differences on the dresses. Um, so the Teyuta Matoshi one has lots of gems, this sort of uh, beading, plus the applique flowers. It has the single belt, plus the second one that you tie into a ribbon is sewn into the dress. Um, it does have the bra cups and the corset boning uh, in the bodice. Um, and of course it has these little like bows on the sleeves um, and it has the pockets. It's uh, three layers of like the mesh tulle fabric and then one satin underskirt layer. So now the difference between that one and this one is obviously like um, it's a bulkier stretchy, you can tell kind of like a cheaper velvet fabric with a separate second belt. There's none of the beading. It's just applique and then some gems on this is the Ally Express version. Um, there's no bow on the sleeves. This is the little strings I was telling you about, which I guess are supposed to tie around. They don't stay. I've tried it. It just doesn't work. Um, it does have the bra cups and it does have uh, corset boning in uh, parts of the bodice. And it also has this bra strap, which is actually pretty nice. Um, but overall, the, the placement of the like the, the bra bodice was not right for my shape, whereas with the custom-made dress, it's spot on. It fits just perfectly. Um, another thing about this Ally Express dress I thought was interesting is that there's like, I think there's five layers of the mesh fabric. And this is actually a very nice um, satin underskirt, but it's so heavy compared to this other dress. Okay, so, original. Imposter. So I'll give you a close up look. It has jewels, it has some applique, it has the cups in it. 
and then original. So side by side, I mean, this is still a pretty dress, but wow, <laughs> there's a big difference here between these two. Um, the fabric, this is, you know, so many more gems all over this one. <sighs> Again, not a bad dress. This is the Ally Express um, imposter dress for I think it was like $90. This one with the customization, it's around $1,000. Um, I had it made a little bit shorter, so it was about $8.90. But the quality is it's like a huge difference in quality. Okay, let's try it on. So this dress fits really well. Um, because it was a custom dress, I gave them my height, weight, you know, all of my measurements so that it would fit just right because it was custom. So these are a little tricky. I don't know if they go up or down. They work either way, but I like them. It's not too long. There's uh, one, two, three, three layers of the netting, and then a very sort of satiny, lightweight underskirt. This is not a heavy dress. It's not an uncomfortable dress. And, oh, pockets. Yay. I'm really happy with how it looks and how it fits. Everything is just perfect. And the quality is amazing. I love this dress so much. So much, it's gorgeous. So thanks for joining me today, guys, for this unboxing video. Um, I have a few more planned. I, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning. I have uh, probably three more unboxings planned, and then that's probably it. Like, I don't, I don't want to do tons and tons of videos, but with these dresses, I know there are a lot of people out there who are wondering what are they like. If I'm going to spend, you know, even $100 on an AliExpress version, is it worth it? And then with the Teyu de Matoshi, if I'm going to spend that much money, what's it like? I want to see one, you know, actually see one rather than just a picture. So um, I do have a few more planned. Those are going to be coming up as soon as my packages finally make it to me because my AliExpress ones have been on the way for over two months. They're still not here. So as soon as they get here, we're going to do those and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you can join me for those. And if you want to see more from me, check out my blog and I'll see you guys next time.